we need to use the inverse operation to check the answers to these calculations. So first, we have 238 plus 184 equals 422. Now we can represent addition calculations using bar models. So we can have the two numbers that we're adding on the bottom and then our total on top. So here, notice I've drawn a slightly larger bar for 238 than I have for 184 because 238 is larger. Also notice the bar on top is the same size as the two bars below put together because if this calculation is correct, then adding these two numbers should give us the total that we have on top. Now this bar model gives us the calculation that we've shown here, but it also tells us three more calculation facts. It tells us that if we add 184 and then 238, we'll get the same total, because with addition, you can add numbers in any order and get the same answer. With addition, order doesn't matter. But here, we're told to use the inverse operation to check, and the inverse means the opposite. So we can check this calculation using subtraction. This bar model also, as well as two addition calculations, gives us two subtraction calculations. It tells us that 422 minus 238 should equal 184, and it also tells us that 422 minus 184 should equal 238. So if we subtract one of the bottom bars from the top bar, we should get the other bottom bar. So to check, we could use one of these subtractions, and if we got the other number in our question, we know that this statement here would be correct. So with addition, if we subtract one of the numbers we're adding from the total, we should get the other number. So now we have 718 minus 284 equals 434. We can also show subtractions using bar models, but this time we're going to have the number that we start with on top, and then in the bars below, we have the number that we're subtracting and our answer. So again, like this one, this bar model gives us four calculations. It tells us that 284 plus 434 should equal 718, because with bar models, if we add the numbers on the bottom, we should get the number on top, and we can add in any order, so it also tells us that if we start with this number and add this number, we should again get 718. It also, this bar model, gives us two subtraction calculations, so it gives us the calculation that we have here, but it also tells us that 718 minus 434 equals 284. So if we subtract our answer, we should get the number that we're subtracting. Because with the bar model, if we subtract one of the numbers on the bottom, we should get the other number. But it says use the inverse operation to check, and because it's a subtraction, and the opposite to subtraction is addition, we could check by adding one of these numbers here.